What's up guys, welcome back to Android app development tutorials for beginners, there's one and only Shrix and in this video we are gonna talk about toolbar demonstration. So let us quickly jump on to our Android studio. Now inside our Android studio I have created a new project. The project name that I have given is Android toolbar. Clear, this is my main activity.java and this is my activity main.xml. Now guys, our first step will be to apply our material design theme to our application. So how to do it? So first of all, we need to migrate to our resource folder. Now inside the resource folder, you will find values folder. Inside the values folder, there's a styles.xml, just open it. Now here we need to customize our theme of our application. So we will put what? We will put material design theme. Now material design theme is something which is having a flat UI. So just follow the steps along with me and at the end of this video, you will be successfully applying the material design theme to your application. Looking at the present scenario, if you run the application, now let's see what, what output we are going to get now. So at present our app is running. Now you can see at present this is actually not an Android toolbar. This is our application title. This is our overflow menu and this is actually our action bar. So we want to replace this action bar with our toolbar. So our first step will be to change the theme. Now this theme is actually theme.appcombat.light.dark action bar. So what we're gonna do just change this dark action bar to no action bar. Yes, here we go. Now let us add our primary color. If you remember from the previous tutorial guys, our color primary is the color of our title bar. So let us type our color primary right now. Let us give it a color. Let's say color slash color primary. Let us create it. Now let us create this color. Clear. So here I have defined a color primary. Fine. And this is pointing to what this color primary, which is nothing but this color. Now here I'm adding a comment line. Now let us do one thing guys, let us add our color primary dark. Here I have set up my color primary dark which is pointing to what? This color primary dark which is nothing but this color. Clear? Now if you want to change the color, you can simply double click on this and here you will get your color chooser and you can select any color. Its hash value will be generated right here. Just select choose and you are good to go. Now guys, if you want to know more about material design colors, simply go to Google and just type Android, Android material design. Now go for the first link. Now this is the official website to check out the material design specification and all its colors and styles. So what we're going to do, just scroll down and here you will find all the material design colors. The top colors with index of 500 is actually the toolbar background. Fine. Now at the present scenario, we have selected this color. Fine. FFEB3B. Fine. Now the color primary dark, which we have selected here is actually having the value of this. According to the material design guidelines, if you are selecting the toolbar background of 500, then you have to select the color primary dark of 700. Clear? Now similarly, if you are selecting orange of 500 as a toolbar background, this color, then you have to select the color primary dark as this 700, F57C00 and so on. There are lots of color here guys, you can select any of it and apply it to your application. Now guys, it is not at all necessary that you select this 700 tint or this 500 tint. If you desire, you can select this 800 tint also, but according to the standard guidelines, it is recommended to select this 700 as a color primary dark. So the same thing we have done here. Now guys, in the last video, we saw our third color, which is actually the color accent. So let us type that. So here guys, I have given some accent color. Now accent color is something which I, which I told you in the previous video. If you don't remember guys, please go back and check out my last video. 
and all these codes guys I'm going to upload it for your reference so please don't worry about it just watch it and understand all the concepts so here what I have done I have added all the comments for your reference so you can check these comments out and refer to it what this color accent stands for this color accent is used as a default value of color control activated which is used to tint widgets now suppose you place a checkbox then by default the color of the checkbox is what is blue now in our case the color of the checkbox will be deep orange or somewhat like this clear so till now guys I have done nothing great here I have changed the theme to no action bar defined the color primary color primary dark and color accent and here are the respective colors if you want you can place all these colors inside the colors.xml so let us do that quickly let us create colors dot xml now here let's cut it and paste it here fine so our styles dot xml and colors dot xml are now separated now what we're gonna do guys as of now our style is no action bar so we have removed the action bar now we have removed the action bar for the purpose to replace it with our toolbar so what we're gonna do inside our activity main.xml we are going to place our Android toolbar right here now just remove the padding clear this is our relative layout no props now let us add our Android dot support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar here we go now let us define the attributes as I told you guys toolbar acts as a view group its super class is actually a view group so what we're gonna do we are going to define the layout width and layout height which should be what wrap content clear now let us define a background color for it let's say add the red color and give it color primary clear so this color will be our background color of the toolbar fine now let us give it an ID now guys let us define one more attribute min height let it be ATTR action bar size now guys this attribute minimum height actually pushes all the layout below this toolbar with a minimum height of action bar size so whatever widget you place below this toolbar will be aligned below this toolbar clear it won't overlap with the toolbar so now guys let us run our application so here our application is running now here at the top you can see our toolbar it is completely blank as we have not placed any text any title any subtitle any icon or any overflow menu now let us run the same application in our latest Android version so here we go this is our Android latest version now what is the difference this is the version below 5.0 so whatever versions you will find below 5.0 the status bar won't be colored but in the Android versions 5.0 and above the status bar will be colored now this background color of the title bar is actually a color primary and the color of the status bar is actually color primary dark so please don't confuse it guys so this is the basic difference on the lollipop device and the pre lollipop devices so let us proceed further and customize our toolbar now guys in order to apply the theme you can do one thing paste it here now again type the schema fine so this is our custom schema of our toolbar so what we're gonna do we are going to apply the theme to our toolbar so to apply the theme to our toolbar just type app theme now give it a theme name so let's say add the red style slash my custom toolbar theme clear as of now we have not created our theme so let's do one thing or enter create style resource fine now let's say resource value let it be blank and go to styles.xml now here this is our theme so what we're gonna do we are going to define the parent of this theme now parent of this theme should be theme overlay dot app compact dot light clear 
now here now here what we are going to do we are going to define the color of our text so let's say item android text color primary let us write the comment line for this so as to make it more clear for you guys so this text color secondary is the color of what the color of the overflow menu the three dots that appear on the right hand side of your toolbar and also the color of the navigation drawer icon and this text color primary is the color of the title and the subtitle so all these attributes guys we will just check out now guys we are done with styling of our toolbar so we will continue this discussion in the next video meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel and support us in a way you can and also if you want to download all the codes of the android studio then please check out the link below the video Thank you.